My name is Corin Smith. I'm here in Scotland. I'm a salmon farm campaigner, campaigning against the, the damaging impacts of open cage salmon farming here in Scotland. This is a one and a half thousand ton farm at, at peak biomass just now, so it's just getting ready for harvest, which means there's anywhere between 300 and 400 thousand fish. This small farm produces about as much waste as a, a town of 10 or 20 thousand people and a, a farm like this can expect to, to get visited by the Scottish Government maybe once every three years um, uh, so they've got a pretty free reign so I'm gonna swim uh, swim over to the farm um, and just have a, a little look around see uh, see how many dead fish there are see what the sea lice uh, see what the sea lice numbers look like, how, uh, how healthy the fish are. Part of the way out to the salmon farm now, just a bit further to go. If you can see it in the background there. Um, just gonna go out and have a look around and see what's going on. Back on land now, uh, thankfully in a warm, warm duvet after a couple of hours in pretty cold water. Um, there wasn't a huge amount going on out of the farm. Um, a few, you always see a few dead fish and um, you know, a few in a fairly bad state of repair, but the majority of the fish on the farm seem to be all right, actually. Um, thing that did really strike me though, it always strikes me around the farms, is you can be swimming around in crystal clear water uh, in, the, in the foreshore, but when you get in the proximity of the farms, it's just amazing how much um, stuff is floating around in the water, sort of big lumps of, I don't know what it is, whether it sometimes looks like bits of dead fish or feed, or I, I'm not sure, but the, the visibility goes down from metres and metres um, <clears throat> when, uh, when you're on the foreshore and, and swimming out there to, you know, less than maybe three metres or something, two or three metres when you're actually around about the farm. Um, really, really always really strikes me just how much how much stuff is out there but anyway it was uh, worthwhile to take a look even though it was freezing cold and not an awful lot going on but um, packing up now and, and heading home and going to get a cup of coffee